Hey Cubs, it's Lynxie, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We are here with Terra and the Tremor Pack. Now, as you can tell, there we don't have anybody here. <laughs> I believe Terra went and scared away the previous mate that he had, and I don't really remember her name anymore. I guess that's just how much I truly cared for her. And same with Terra. So it looks like we are... Ooh, there's male Dispersive of Wolves over there. Jeez, okay, scream more then. And oh my goodness, it feels so good to actually be able to hear <laughs> the game again. I just finished recording a, a whole bunch of episodes with uh, Moon Blossom and the Lunari pack. So now being able to hear things again is really great. If you guys don't know what the Lunari pack is, that is my take on a challenge where I am not able to actually hear anything in in the <laughs> with Moon Blossom. She is half deaf. And I figure, you know what, that's a really, really great time to... Ooh, that is a big moose. Oh, that is a big moose. I would love to attack that. Maybe some other time. But not right now. <laughs> We've got we got to get a move on something else. Oh, yay, this doe is, like, nearly down, too. So nice. So, yes, uh, in that mode, I actually don't hear anything. I cannot hear, you know, any of the music. I can't hear any growling. I can't hear any absolutely anything, but... Moon Blossom herself is only half deaf. Terra, of course, is the perfect specimen. <laughs> a very, very great wolf, a great hunter, who seems to rule Yellowstone, honestly. And I'm very happy to be back with him, oh my goodness. I think he's just my favorite so far. Oh, there we go, and down. There it is. It just drops dead. Yes, there we are. Nice. Wonderfully done, Terra. Wonderfully done. And it looks like the Wapitis are still gaining more land here. We definitely wanted to try and see if we can get a Lamar Canyon Wolf to be our mate. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, okay. I was like, let me just grab a chunk and move away, but Terra doesn't do that. He sleeps on his prey. He doesn't care what comes next or what comes after him. Oh, he's dreaming about puppies. Mm, an RV. Just an RV. Okay. And, I guess, being a solo, a lone wolf. And lots of bears. Oh, one of... This is a long dream. Uh-oh. And I hear growling. Now, who is it, I wonder? <gasps> oh, shoot! What in the world is happening? What is in the world? <laughs> I see the female wolves here. <gasps> is that her? Or is that the bear tooth ladies? I can't tell. And we have a bear with a bear cub. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I really wish that we could definitely... Mm, if we had a mate. If we had a mate. You can growl, I don't care. There it goes, there it goes. Alright, alright, we're moving. We got a chunk of the meat. Stupid bear. I definitely smell... It's the 8 Mile Ladies. They're back, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, don't go very far, do you? And now I'm just very, you know, I'm actually kind of worried. If this was the eight mile um, ladies, where do you think Dawn is? I really shouldn't have let her go. I know that everyone was yelled at me. They were like, why did you leave Dawn? And uh, I don't know, like, I just figured, you know, Tara was catching feelings and he was like, I, I can't do this right now. I really need to focus on not doing that. I'm not being with you just yet. I don't, I'm not ready. And despite him really falling in love with Dawn, she really proved herself, honestly. So I think that he's just kind of regretting it now, just like I am, about letting her go. And I'm hoping that we'll find her again, honestly, because I think she was truly the best Yellowstone had to offer. When it comes to the Eight Mile Ladies, I don't think he seems very caring, or he doesn't really seem to care, considering that uh, he definitely saw that she, that, that they and Dawn, um, were not very good and not really on close terms at all. So, hmm. Who was it that was that girl that he was with? I don't remember her name. I really don't. <laughs> uh, oh well. There we are. Let's just let's run it. Come on now. We have got to go and find ourselves a new mate. Let's see if the Lamar Canyon ladies are any good. Probably not. <laughs> I 
if I do sound a little weird or if I don't talk as often, it's because I had recently gotten a tooth pulled. And so I am, what is that? Oh, okay, uh, that's part of the tree. I thought that was a weird wolf. I was like, what the heck? Uh, but no, I got a tooth pulled. So it's kind of painful to talk. It's kind of painful to really do much. Oh, and hey, we were just here with, um, with Moon Blossom, actually. <laughs> well, hey, look at that. I did not mean for that. Because she is going towards the Lamar Valley. And Tara just kind of is going around. He doesn't seem to care. <laughs> He's just going somewhere. Wherever his little heart takes him. Oh, 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 Jesus. Okay. Whew. Good job, Tara. Able to move around those quite well. And it looks like we're entering territory now. So let's hope that we can find a possible mate. If we can find any wolves. I don't smell anything. Maybe if we let this go, we could howl and maybe attract a wolf towards us. Mm, oh, what is that? That's a moose. There's a moose. Not what I want. Smell a territory marker over there. And the moose just moving along. Hmm. Now we're gonna sleep and hopefully and wait to see if something comes over. Something. Oh, oh, here we go. And it is. Hey, wait a minute. I feel like I fought you before. Oh, I totally have. Let me guess. Where is that other one? The one that looks like. Lamar. Oh, no. It, we have. We fought these two before. I know we totally have. And someone told me that the, uh, the one and, like, the four or whatever in their names actually don't mean much. It means, like, they're a ranking, I think, or just they're the first in their pack or the second or whatever. So it's not their age, which I believe I had assumed before. <laughs> so whoopsie on my part. Let me just... Hey, come here. Come here and fight me. Growl. Come on. And some, someone has sent me some wonderful fan fiction. I, they very clearly love Tara. I'm very glad. I'm glad that people like Tara, honestly. He's a very fun, fun wolf. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Your sister or whatever doesn't seem to care at all, at all about you. Oh, oh, goodness. What in the <laughs> What kind of move is that? Yeah? You wanna go? Oh, we don't have any energy. Hold on. And there he goes. There we are. I'm like, trying to kind of get one's attention and not the other. Come on, bud. Nope, okay. Get off. I Alright, I don't want to fight you because you're a female. And I, I wanted to see if maybe you would be his meat. Come on then. Oh, she really thinks she won, huh? <laughs> I'll run circles around you. Hear the snarls and the little teeth munching over there? I can I can hear it. What? What are you gonna do? What are either of you gonna do? Let go. Don't you dare touch your king like this. You know, I wonder though if we can actually get rid of all of the wolf packs. Cause I, I know I've been very keen on getting rid of the Lapides and like completely decimating them. Little lady, if you think you got it, I 
No, 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 I miss that. Come on, old man. What you got? <laughs> nice. Good job, Tara. I don't know where the one that looks like Zeph went. Oh, there she is. I don't know how many times we've fought these, these two, but these pair definitely have... I, I know we've fought them before in the last episode or two. I think two episodes ago, actually. Get, let go, let go, let go. You will let go. Ah. It's so hard to get... Can you get off? Come on, then. need to do a very confident thing on the tail. Hopefully that'll attract attention. What is that? I, just, I heard like, I think whining and I don't know what it is. Seems like she's running off for now. Come on. It's so hard to get one's attention. There we go. Especially since they loop around just like I do. Their AI is kind of like messed up at the moment. They don't know what to do exactly. They're just kind of hoping and wishing and hoping. Come on, one of you is bound to go after me, right? There we go. Said only one. And if I could stop running into trees and stuff, that'd be nice. There we go. Oh, darling, you're not living for very long, are you? Go back into rotation with him. There we are. And just before anyone asks, no, we are not on um, the. Eek, there we go. We are still on the challenging mode. So if you're curious as to, well, Terra seems to be doing this fight rather easily, I think that's just out of practice. <laughs> rather than anything else. Only needs one more bite. There we go. And that's one down. Where's the other lady? No, no, no. Where'd little lady go? I saw her. Where did she go? Ah, she ditched. You just ran right out of here. You thought you were going to dip, huh? Little lady, where'd you go? I see her. Hey, you. You thought you were just going to live? Just like that. Hold on. Okay, there we go. You silly, silly, silly thing. You thought that you were going to attack Dara with your brother, uncle, father, whatever, and then live. They're quite funny. And also apparently very fast. Tara is so hurt that it's hard for him to actually go over to her. 
and be able to grab her. Ugh, come back. Oh. <laughs> no, you're now you're going to die. <laughs> ah, there we are. I apologize for the jump cuts, by the way, guys. But that was necessary because she kept running off and Tara's so hurt that it's hard for him to really keep up right now. There we are. That's a good bite. Oof. We were just able to grab her before. So I'm hoping that we'll be... There we go. Able to nab her again. There we are. Your little serpentine move isn't going to work forever, lady. And she's down. <laughs> Got it. Oh, jeez. Not a moment too soon. We definitely needed to let Tara rest. He has no health whatsoever. Okay, I think that's really all that we had time for, though. So we're going to go ahead and just let Tara rest off from all of that fighting. <laughs> oh gosh, that's kind of a scary thing to look at. Oh, <gasps> dispersals. Oh my gosh, it's the bear tooth. Wait, if it, there's the bear tooth, who are those? <gasps> Dawn! Dawn! Dawn and her sister, but Dawn! Dawn, <laughs> no, come back. This is the best place to end it. Okay, we're gonna end it there. But we have the bear tooth ladies right behind us. And now we have Dawn. And I think I know exactly what I want to do. But that's gonna have to wait a bit. Yeah, it'll have to wait just a little bit. That's three wolves. That's three whole wolves. Alright, but <laughs> I will see you all next time. Bye guys!